There is plenty of breaking news today, friends, about Tesla. This morning, Sawyer Merritt on Twitter, who provides regularly Tesla information and reliable information, tweeted this breaking story and breaking image saying 157 Tesla mega packs worth over $150 million seen today preparing for delivery at Giga Nevada. You see this on your image, friends, on your screen. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please give us thumbs up like this video if you find this informative and please subscribe to our channel because i'm going to follow up on this story so what we're seeing here with the wider adoption of energy production from natural energy sources large energy storage systems have become very popular these days tesla is experiencing tremendous growth in demand for its mega pack by offering the best utility energy storage devices in the industry a batch of 157 batch batteries has been spotted at Giga Nevada preparing for delivery. Eva Fox has some details. He says those who follow Tesla's work are already accustomed to the fact that there are often hundreds of cars near factories. However, ready to ship mega packs have never been the subject of much scrutiny. Despite this, these are very interesting observations that can show how heavily the manufacturer's factory is busy and that mega packs are in high demand. They each cost about um, uh, one million dollars. Tesla enthusiast Sawyer Merritt on Twitter shared a photo, this breaking photo taken on Giga Nevada. In it, you can see dozens of mega packs preparing for delivery. Sawyer reported that there are 157 of them. Uh, this Tesla recently reported uh, that in quarter three, the number of energy storage deployments increased by 71 percent year to year. Many mainly due to the massive deployment of mega packs. The manufacturer is experiencing a huge demand for this product and currently has a big backlog, according to Eva Fox from the Tesmania. She says in this regard, Tesla decided to build a new factory that will produce mega packs in September. The new mega factory, which I reported so, uh, a month ago, broke ground in Latrobe, California. In its quarter three report, the company said the mega factory's capacity will be 40 gigawatt hour, which is a huge capacity and far exceeds what Tesla can produce now. We um, recently announced our new big mega pack factory with a capacity of 40 gigawatt hour which compares to total mega pack deployment of 3 gigawatt hour in the last 12 months we are very excited about the broader potential of this product tesla said so friends let me know what you think about this development about increasing the mega pack capacity this is outstanding i think how long till they make them all autonomous so they can deliver themselves what do you think let me know friends give us thumbs up for this report if you find it informative if you think this is a good news this is armin harian from torque news God bless you everyone, peace be with all of you, and let's move on to the next Tesla news. Just a few hours ago, early this morning, Tesla released its Dojo white paper. Dojo is Tesla's supercomputer. Elon Musk teased it and said it is more important than it may seem in a tweet. Tesla's Elon Musk has been quite active on Twitter lately, especially yesterday and today, friends. For a time, it seemed he was focusing his Twitter activity more on replies than on his own tweets. But over the past few days, the outspoken CEO of Tesla um, has taken on Twitter often, giving us a lot of things to report um, in a reply to a tweet that originally came from Tesla's official Twitter account early this morning, just a few hours ago. Musk simply wrote and said, this is more important than it may seem at first. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like for this video. Thumbs up if you find it informative. Tesla has released a new white paper early this morning, just several hours ago, regarding a new standard for its dojo supercomputing platform. CEO Elon Musk teased the paper as more important than it may seem. For years now, Tesla has been teasing the development of a new in-house supercomputer optimized for neural net video training. Tesla is handling an insane amount of video data from its fleet of over 1 million vehicles. It uses this video data to train each neural nets, its computers 
The automaker found itself unsatisfied with current hardware options to train its computer vision neural nets and believed it could do better internally. Over the last two years, CEO Elon Musk has been teasing the development of Tesla's own supercomputer called Dojo. Last year, he even teased that Tesla's Dojo would have a capacity of over an exaflop, which is one quadrillion, 10, uh, 18 quarters. There's 18 degrees of 10 floating point operations per second or 1000 petaflops. It could potentially make Dojo the new most powerful supercomputer in the world at Tesla's AI Day in August. Tesla unveiled Dojo. Now today, just a few hours ago, it unveiled the um, white paper. The automaker already has its Dojo chip and tile, but it is still working on building its full rack to create the supercomputer. Now Tesla has released the white paper technology in the abstract. The automaker is describing a new standard to work with its computer platform. Here's what Tesla says. This standard specifies Tesla arithmetic formats and methods for the new 8-bit and 16-bit binary floating point arithmetic in computer programming environments for deep learning neural network training. This standard also specifies exception conditions and the status flag there for an implementation of a floating point system conforming, um, conforming to its standard may be realized entirely in software, entirely in hardware or in any combination of software and hardware. Sounds like little com, um, uh, uh, um, scientific, right? It's hard to understand. So I'm not going to lie. A lot of that stuff is going way over my head even. And even I'm looking at electrics coverage of the story. The reporter says the same thing and says it's certainly more digestible for people familiar with programming for deep learning. But it sounds like Tesla designed a new format called C float 8 optimized to work on its dojo supercomputer platform. Electric says it looks like the company hopes that other people would use the standard. However, it doesn't sound like dojo is going to be available to people outside of Tesla for a little while. During the company's earnings call last week, Tesla said that dojo's capacity is currently fully utilized internally. Well, friends, let me know. This is great explanation. I think uh, by electric, I don't know much about this. However, um, if I hear anything, um, I'll let you know. So please subscribe to our channel. I'm looking at one comment on uh, Electric's coverage, and uh, a lot of people have liked it. This person named Anon says, this is a super low level detail of their architecture, but how you design the data types for the weight of your neurons affects the size in RAM when you load models. Uh, precision of changes in those weights, which in some sub-ranges of the data type are very, very small and yet have huge effects. The encoding speed and the speed with which you can multiply and divide those numbers in hardware and the silicon, you can do that math on if buying it. Just like a Tesla car gets more range out of battery innovations, but also care with aerodynamics, weight, climate system, battery temperature, etc. A large AI system can improve its performance many times by accumulating gains from many little factors above. Each one of them doesn't create a step function gain, but all of them together do. Keep in mind, state-of-the-art AI models are growing at 10 times every year approximately. So if you can get 10 times more out of existing hardware with low-level bit tricks, you have accelerated the state-of-the-art by one year. I would be much more interested in a white paper that describes the supervision loop and the stacking of their perception and decision layers. So friends, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Um, so once I hear more about the Dojo and its capacity, I will report here on this Torque News YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and let's move to the next news.
Elon Musk says Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. What does this mean? This morning, just moments ago, friends, a friend Elon Musk commented saying German car manufacturers will rebound strongly. They possess great talent, which will not sit idle and added that Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Here's how it started. Lisa G. Punkt on Twitter wrote the following to which Elon Musk responded. She she said watch German TV news sat one they are reporting on Tesla Hertz deal and on the one trillion company valuation they concluded model 3 is the most selling car in Germany that was previously Volkswagen Golf's position this is the end of an era for German car manufacturers Lisa wrote to this Elon Musk just minutes ago responded saying German car manufacturers will rebound strongly they they possess great talent which will not sit idle also a few moments later he added this also Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. What do you think, friends? In what way do you think te Tesla will become a German car manufacturer? In to me, this doesn't mean Tesla will move its headquarters to Germany. Uh, Germany will be its European headquarters, but Germany in uh, G Tesla is an international car manufacturer or at least U.S. car manufacturer. But um, the, Elon Musk probably means that Tesla will be assimilated into Germany as well as it studies, does in China and other gigafactories it will be so will germany tesla will become a german car manufacturer in which way let me know please in the comments section below maybe so maybe it will become but they will have to step up uh, way more and the biggest challenge is how to recruit the true talents out there i mean for german car manufacturers keep in mind they have a high average age and big pension obligations to pay and being capable capable of changing totally away from uh, ICE gas cars to electric vehicles will be so hard. The talent is not the problem in Germany. It is the old structures and the failure to understand that they don't have to build just cars, but computers on wheels, says a Twitter user, Tesla Audrey. I think German car manufacturers are slowly moving to this direction. Maybe the pace is not enough, but things are going to that direction as I review lots of German cars myself. Another person says, I partially agree with Elon Musk. They possess talent, meaning German car manufacturers. They possess talent, but lack the flexibility and vision to move in large enough bounds to catch up. I would not say they lack flexibility or vision. How, how can I measure someone's vision, uh, thousands of people, the vision of thousands of people? So I wouldn't say that, but we see that German car manufacturers need to speed up the transition to electric vehicle adoption and looks like they're on, on that uh, uh, on that uh, route and uh, to witness to that is recently uh, Herbert Dies from Volkswagen calling Elon Musk to uh, Volkswagen's executive conference so what I like about Tesla CEO Elon Musk in this case is that he is welcoming the challenge uh, from Germany and not pretending like there is none like others I still like the looks of BMW and Mercedes a lot would be really surprising if they just couldn't develop a compete a electric technology really soon plus the auto industry has had plenty of twists over the decades friends the problem is if the talent is not managed to the advantage of the company too many OEMs have short-term managers as CEO they are not fully invested European manufacturers have the advantage of Europe being the most progressive on electric vehicle adoption as evident by adoption rates with China following and the US kind of lagging a little bit German engineering is great. They have fewer natural resources and compensated by learning to do more with less true engineering. Let me know, friends, your thoughts on what Elon Musk said. Elon Musk said, in what way do you think Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer? And what do you think about his comment about German car manufacturers will be rebounding strongly? They possess great talent and which will not sit idle. True, good talent doesn't sit idle. Well, this is Armin Haryan from Torque. News.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and let's move on to the next news.